Hey guys, uh, I just want to say welcome to the channel. Um, I'm gonna be cutting out a portion of the video because, uh, you know, just some. I, I guess like something happened. I guess you can say that. So uh, yeah, it, it, so if there's like a little, little small bit in the video, then uh, and you get feels like, oh, okay, this is random. But, um, that's why something just happened when I was recording. I mean, it's not something. It's not really bad, so don't worry. But yeah, I just want to specify that. So. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back. back. Um, yeah, I, I know. I, I said I was going to review the Black Panther figure, but, uh, you know, change of plans. Uh, I did say, like, two videos last week, and, uh, you know, I was about to say two videos this week, but I know this won't get posted until, like, Friday, which is tomorrow and by now, because, again, it's 2 a.m., and, uh, I, I'm be real again. Um, I, I, I kind of don't want to do a review. That's why I chose, uh, um, Falcon. I, I just want to get this done and, um, uh, not cry. I mean, I, I haven't cried in, like, a while. I mean, I may shed tears, but that's different from actually crying and all that. But, like, I, I hope y'all understand. Anyway, so, we are reviewing the Retro Wave falcon comic book style and i want to get this out the way real quick why is it on the package he doesn't have gloves on but on the figure he does does that not bother anyone else like he has gloves on on the figure but the what but the you know the art that's on the package he doesn't have gloves am i going Am I the one that's taking it a little too serious? I guess so. But anyways, let's go over some scope, I guess. So as you can see, he has pinless arms. And I, I, I don't know why. But then he has pinless, pin legs, so it's like a Mattel effect. You know? So he's a Cesaro, pinless arms. But, you know, underneath this, it's like pins. So let's see if I can pull that down. Yeah. You kind of went like the the Mattel route with the, this figure, but yeah. And sorry if you hear chewing. I'm chewing gum. I should have spit this out, but I I'm not feeling that well right now. I'm not mentally prepared for this. Plus, I'm tired. So that's a bonus. <laughs> anyway. So muscle looks nice, the head scope looks decent, it's more like, you know, this figure came out before, like, the high definition, um, head sculpts, and, you know, muscles are pretty much the same as it on every, almost every single figure out there, like, every, every Marvel Legends has these type of legs, very muscular, unless the character has no legs, is really short, or is a female, so, yeah. Yeah, there's not much to say about this. Besides, like, the hole in the back and where to plug the wings. Which I, I should probably teach you right now. So, if I hit him right here. A little bit closer to the phone. Accessories, I guess. So, yeah, he comes with wings. Here's a look at these. These are two pieces, uh, I believe. So, this has the right side. And not this right, because then that won't look right, obviously. So, his right, not our right. So, you just kind of plug it in like so back here, you know. Just push kind of hard, and you hear a snap. Boom, that's in. That's not coming off or anything. And then you bend this down. At least that's what I do. And then push in. You won't hear it pop, but you know it will go in. And there you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I regret saying that I want to end my life. No, I don't. I love my life. I'm just sad right now. I mean, I guess you can say sad, but you, you get it. But yeah, it, it's pretty easy, you know. You get to bend, you know, it looks nice still. It's pretty clean. But then you bend right here if I can, because my joints are fucking tight. And then there's that little spur, that little thing right there. And then leave it a little bit. I don't know. I don't like that it does that, but I can't fix it. So 
I mean, he can pretty much only bend to like right there. So they might as well just give him single joint elbows. Because it looks pretty good just like this. I mean, yeah, the articulation would be the same. But then again, bro. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm not really going to have him, you know, without his wings. I don't need all this articulation. But, uh, yeah, yeah, you just do the same for both wings, you know, you insert them into those certain holes. So right here, you know, this goes in here. I don't know if this will snap in. Oh, yep, a little pop. And then the same right here. And I want to have a little pop. So now you have, like, both wings. I can't understand why people would want double joint elbows on this guy. You know, so he can block right and all that. And, you know, articulation-wise. And then he comes with these hands, which I'm, I'm not really going to use. And as you should know about me and hands, I have nothing to say about them. They're just hands. Uh, there's nothing to say about them, so... On the bright side, though, I can use these hands on Blue Marvel when he's flying through the air. So, um, let me make him look like he's not putting up his hand for the Nazis, you know, Hitler. Just give me a second. So yeah, I can do this with uh, Blue Marvel. But I'm not going to really do that too, because I don't mess with this figure. It's an old, not old figure, but like it has old articulations on all that. Somehow the new figure is outdated. But anyways, back to um, Vulc I mean, not Vulcan, Falcon. There's actually no really much talk about no articulation, he's just on the sunfire body, so he has butterfly joints, you know, his arms go pretty far up. Oh shit, that's actually pretty good. So, um, yeah, you know, double joint elbows, which mine are kind of tight, and yeah, that'll happen, you know, it'll fall out. At least this one does, and then, you know, that looks ugly, and yeah. Do I like this figure? Uh, I'm gonna say it's alright. I mean, I didn't pay like, I don't know how much this guy was going, maybe like 20 bucks. On Amazon, he's like, I don't know, $17 now. But, anyways, again, with articulation wise, you know, sunfire ride, butterfly joints, arms go up, arms go down, um, bicep swivel. Uh, double joint elbows, swivel hinge at the hands, ab crunch, and you know, waist swivel, kick, thigh cut, um, double joint knees, boot cut, and then ankle pivot, and all that, all the stuff. Head, head looks up, head looks down. Yeah, uh, I, he's just an action figure, man. So, scale how well does he scale? So let's get him with his, I don't know, adversary, leader. I, I don't know what he really is to him. The toy is Captain America. You know, the only Captain America I have right now. Let me fix his legs. Because he's been standing on a stand for the longest and he doesn't know how to stand by himself now. That did not work. Trust, trust. Okay, there we go. And I was like, oh shit, my, my speaker, and as he falls, my speaker just turned off. Let's put him next to, why are they falling? Let's put him next to Wolverine. Wolverine has also been on a toy biz stand, so he doesn't know how to stand by himself either. Jesus. But uh, yeah, I don't know. They're kind of the same height, obviously Wolverine's going to be shorter. And then a little bit of MCU, you know, I don't have the MCU Hawken, <laughs> but, you know, yay. And then, here, the return of Blue Marvel, 
And then the figure I was supposed to review and said, I just need a short video out so y'all don't get mad at me or something. And again, I'm not that big of a YouTuber. I'm just here. I'm a chill guy, right? I'm a chill guy. So there he is standing next to these guys. Yeah. And then, yeah, this is kind of short comparison, size comparisons. But ending him off with the best action figures. So, God damn it. Retro Wave Symbiote Spider-Man. And then the Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man. I'm biased, okay? But this is by far the best Spider-Man figure I have besides the Mayfix bootleg one. But uh, yeah, that's the end of the video. I have nothing else to say about this figure. It's just an average figure. Do I recommend buying it? Yeah, if it's at a fair price and even if it's lower. If I saw this and I saw this for 20 bucks, I wouldn't pick it up. I'll, if it was like, I don't know, 10 bucks maybe. If it was like 8, yeah, sure. You know, if it was cheap, because it's just a cheap figure, you know, there's not a lot of work into it and all that. It's a nice looking figure though. I do like it. I do like messing around with it. But, you know, it's just a figure. It's just a figure. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that might end it off now. I should go to sleep. I have school in the morning. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I kind of hate ending this off on a sad note. You know? I don't know if the video's going to be posted today or tomorrow. Um, if it's going to be posted today, I'll make a video tomorrow and then post that. And, yeah. Love you guys. Peace.